Say, hey, do you wanna know a simple money habit that works like magic to bring more in, to increase your flow? That's what we're talking about today for this week's NFA Money Tip. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrienti, he's the host of Max Potential Money. This is your place to come each and every week for tips and tricks on how to make more money in your business through all things mindset, money, marketing, and manifestation. So this week I wanna to talk to you about a habit that I implemented when I was on food stamps and it completely changed my reality. It's a really simple tip and you might listen to it and think, really Amanda, seriously, is this gonna do anything for me? I promise you it will. It's worked well for me and it's worked well for all the people that I've taught it to. And what it is, is tracking your money. So you wanna track your money on both sides. You wanna set something up where you track your expenses and track your income. I often like to do these in separate apps or on a spreadsheet, it's up to you. If you're already doing something like QuickBooks and you're really good at this, this one might not be as important for you, except for let's say you have a bookkeeper who you send all your expenses to and all your income to, and you're not really paying attention to it, then you're not really tracking. You're not really paying enough attention to help you raise your conscious awareness about what's going on in your money world. So I want you to spend at least 30 days trying this out. So on the expenses side, what I did was I started tracking every single thing that I spent money on. And I just had a little app on my phone and I would, if it was like even 50 cents, I would track it. And I started to see patterns and habits and I noticed, huh, these aren't necessarily things I really want to be spending money on. And I was on food stamps, so it's not like I was spending a ton of money, but like I was going out every once in a while, I was spending money on certain things that I thought, is this how I want to be spending my life energy? And I started to reallocate it to investments and savings. And it started to completely change my reality because I was signaling to money that I'm responsible and what you appreciate appreciates. And I wanted my money to appreciate because I wanted to get out of this situation of being impoverished and not having my money flow well. You might not be on food stamps, maybe you're in a different situation, but no matter where you're at, if you wanna up-level your money flow, you gotta start focusing on money more. It can't be one of those things that you just avoid and pretend doesn't exist, or you know, even the, the philosophy like, oh, easy come, easy go, I like to say easy come, easy grow. So you wanna be focusing on it growing, you wanna be building your wealth over time, and you wanna be seeing how your expenses are flowing out so you can raise conscious awareness. On the flip side of that, something that's really cool, if you feel like you're not good at making money, start tracking all of the money that you bring in. And same thing, I did it on an app on my phone. You could do it in a Google spreadsheet too, like something along those lines. Just make sure you're tracking, it could be a handwritten journal. Just start writing down every single penny that comes in. And I don't care if this is, you found a dollar in the washing machine, write it down because that's money flowing your way. If someone takes you out to dinner and you were expecting to pay, write it down. If you get up to the cash register and the item that you were buying is 50% off and you didn't know it, write it down because that's half of what you were expecting to pay and that's money in your pocket. So, and then of course, income that you get from customers and clients and, and wages and things like that, write it down every single time. And in addition to this, when you have income come in and it's like, I love to do a money dance, I call it my money dance. So like, I'll get, I don't care what amount of money it is, like, a dollar I do this with. I do it with $10,000, I do it with $1. I like dance around my kitchen. I have this like island in my kitchen area and I just like dance around I'm like, yeah, I'm a money magnet. You wanna be highlighting to your brain that you're good at attracting money your way because what you focus on expands. So the reason you wanna track your outgo, your, your expenses, is because that helps you get conscious of your habits. So you wanna track on that end to get conscious of your habits so you can make conscious decisions and signal to the universe that you're responsible with your money. On the flip side, you want to track all of your profits, all of your income, all of the money you find so that you can see that you actually do have some money flow in your life and in your business. And this will unlock your stagnant stuckness in money making. I promise you it works amazing. It's worked for me, it works for the people I work with and, and get to teach this strategy to. And it's such a simple habit that really works like magic. All right, that's my tip for you today. NFA money making high fives. I will be back next week with another NFA money tip for you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to or watching this episode and for being a part of the NFA family. You are why I do what I do. If you're liking what you're learning here on Max Potential Money, you will definitely want to go to www.nfamoneymasterclass.com to learn about the number one deadly money mistake all entrepreneurs make. Again, that's www.nfamoneymasterclass.com. Until next time, remember to be NFA today.